really not have a face? No! It's the Blind Movie Reviewer! Derek Welshman is here, our Blind Movie Reviewer, and uh, Derek is, um, uh, you're doing two movies today, is that? Well, I just wanted to just mention that I went to, Rebecca wanted to go to a movie that she didn't have to read any subtitles for me. Mm -hmm. Seems fair. Rebecca, so, your wife. My wife. Yeah, yeah. She's she's here today. Yeah, actually. she's here today. I was just going to say, you, you seem like the nicest, happiest couple. I'd like to go to your house just for an afternoon to just have a nap. No, just have a nap. Sure. I bet it's very calm and fun there. Like very just calm. easy going. Oh yeah, it's it's quite nice. It has to be. It can't be too ruckus, or else I get all lost. And I start to despair. <laughs> we we were asking. Uh, Jason asked if you ever hide things on him. That's a no. You don't hide anything on him. What's she, that? she says it's quite easy to hide stuff on me. She just moves it six hide, feet away from where I am. Hide like the sofa. <laughs> yeah, like, like move at, the bed. <laughs> yeah. You like just at, uh, switch everything around once in a while. When he asks for the salt, you give him pepper. <laughs> You're good, Derek. <laughs> it's that anyway. passive aggressive torture that I love. Yeah. She's so nice, but watch out if she moves the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn it around so you can't find the door. Ah. <laughs> or nail it shut. <laughs> Sorry. Sell anyway. the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gotten to that point yet, okay, right. thankfully. Um, you uh, you saw two movies. Yeah, so we went and saw. I, we went to uh, to open season. That was the fr uh, one we saw a couple of days ago, and uh, that's a, a cartoon. And we and it was more just the the the, the prospect of going in and seeing a, uh, going to a three D movie, and uh, it, it didn't really work. What do you no? mean it didn't work? It didn't really work. I didn't really catch with the three D part. I put the glasses on. We all look like that North Korean leader. We put those glasses Kim on. Kim Jong Il, yeah. Kim Jong Il, but you you have glasses? No, they give you the three D glasses, glasses. Yes. when you go in. Well, those are no good because you can't see anyway. Well, I, I know, but I just thought I'd just try. You never know. <laughs> I don't know how powerful three D is. Even I, I, the mental midget I am, <laughs> will understand that a blind person doesn't need three D glasses because well, you can't see in one D. Can well, you imagine if it worked? <laughs> you, well, here's, here's the, well, here's right the thing. Here. <laughs> here's All the this thing. time, the cure is in the back of a cereal box. <laughs> No, you you don't even have like half a D. Well, but the thing is, I, I put them on, and I'm like, whoa! It's like that mountain is right in front of me. And Rebecca's like, it's your knee. Sit up. <laughs> <laughs> so ultimately, I'll just just briefly, I'll, I'll let you know that this it's a it's an all right movie. Take the kids. Ashton Kutcher drives me crazy. Uh, he's an idiot too. And he's yelling the, it. Does he's he yell? the, oh, he yells, yells the whole he does, yeah. time. I've seen it. it. I took my kids to see it, and I said. Uh, they, they, uh, they both of them, one <clears throat> fell asleep. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, and the other one thought it was, I said, how was it? He goes, it was okay. What's wrong with that mouse? I said, it, it was a deer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, that, I, I won't even give that one a rating, but uh, just, just thought I'd just mention that. But the movie that I am going to review is Stranger Than Fiction, starring Will Ferrell and Dustin Hoffman, Emma Thompson, and Jake Gyllenhaal's sister, Maggie mm. Gyllenhaal, who was not in Brokeback Mountain. Now, this movie is about Will Ferrell's character. His name is Harold Crick, and uh, he's an IRS auditor, and his life is very boring, very dull, same thing every day, until one day he starts hearing a female voice narrating his life, and that female voice is Emma Thompson. And I thought to myself, wouldn't that be great for me to have a narrator Especially when I walk up to like a four-way stop and I'm trying to cross the road. <laughs> Derek saw his opportunity and went, thank you. And went across. <laughs> but ultimately this shakes up Harold's life completely. His work life has changed. His love life has changed. And his complete life is completely uh, in upheaval when, he, when the narrator starts leading to his impending death. Now it's a fascinating concept, just the concept of somebody narrating, and it's a very, very funny film. Will Ferrell is is understated, which you don't see very often. He's he's very calm through the whole film. I'm and just, you're actually doing a review. I, I yeah, know, I know. Wow. But, no, but you know what? I'm just saying this now because it's very, very, it's a very, very funny movie, and it's a great concept. Just the concept of somebody narrating your life. But there's a deeper level to this movie, too. Dean shifted awkwardly in his chair. It was nice having Derek come in and do these reviews, but come on, how much could he actually see? Comedy, he quietly picked up his Blackberry and tapped a one-word message, fraud, and sent it to Todd. This harkens back to... Todd read Dean's text and smiles, but it was hard for him to concentrate just then. He was unapologetically aroused. He didn't know why. Was it? 
Dean? The great thing about this film is it's very dialogue heavy. Jason, meanwhile, stared at the flickering computer screen waiting for Derek's wrap-up cue. He was in a grand mood, better than he had felt in months. Who would have thought a simple pair of women's undergarments could alter one's outlook on the world? The pink silk caressed against his skin. It was a guilty pleasure that no one would ever have to know about, unless someone started broadcasting his inner thoughts over the radio. How ridiculous. So I'm going to give this film four blurries out of five and that's the way I see it. It's the Blind Movie Reviewer! Very funny, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very well done. Thank you. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz on the <laughs> edge.